What up, y'all? Welcome to the video, man. As y'all coming in, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't not already subscribed. Now, check this out. Bill Haney. Bill Haney out here doing interviews or whatever. They getting ready for Loma Chingo. Devin Haney getting ready for Loma. And I believe Devin Haney is about to dominate Loma Chingo. But still a tough fight. You got to be focused because... Um, Loma Chico definitely got skills. It's just, he just real small or whatever. So, <clears throat> that's the case with that fight. But, if you come to this interview, you see right here, look at the title. Bill Haney rips Javante Davis as an exhibition. He ripping, he ripping Tank versus Ryan, huh? Well, you need to be ripping Shakur Stevenson because... What I feel like is, man, these dudes don't have the same energy for Shakur as they have as Javante Davis. And it's just, it's just mind-boggling to me, man. So let's talk about it, guys. You know what I'm saying? Let me bring it up real, real big. Hold on one second. One second, guys. Look. What I what I call as a as a big fight, but it's a it's an exhibition to me. Now I don't want anyone to get, you know what I mean? Because uh, I believe the tank is writing the rules of the fight, so it's an exhibition. Or so Bill Haney feel like tank fight is an exhibition, right? For, uh, you can say, you know, that's his opinion or whatever. Or you can say he hating it. I mean. I, I, I understand. I know Devin want to be like Tank or whatever, but that's another case. Now, let's, let's keep listening. Though. Our, our fight is sanctioned on, by... Hold on. Hold on. So that's what you say about Leonard. Tank, right? All these guys, when anyone else... I just said that it's a uh, Haney versus Lomachenko. People forget that. But what do you make overall? Under 35 pounds. Oh, no. <laughs> Don, uh... No, absolutely. Going to make you weaker... Pray five times. Good things, right? Recharging. Well, Lon knows a lot. As long as your intentions are. Lom ask. Uh, He's fortunate to have going to Super Bowl medals. Kind of have to look out, like in the future, like um, um, his management team or tanks. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, okay. Like in the future, like well, absolutely. If um, if uh, Shakur's team, uh, Bob Arum, um. His management team or tanks. Uh, so soon Mark bring up Shakur Stevenson. Listen to what he got to say. Basically, what he's saying is he start he start he, he start talking about management and management teams and <laughs> you know what I'm saying nigga y'all got the same goddamn y'all got different management but y'all got the same promoter man. Stop it, bro. That's what I be talking about. I be telling y'all, man, Bill is so cap, man. I ain't make no sense, bro. Just tall cap. You hear me? Like cat in the head, tall cap. Big cap. Loose cap. You know, when they start talking about Shakur Stevens and just they start talking about business ideas and shit like that. Trade, you know, talking about stocks and trades and, and but then when it comes to tank, niggas fighting exhibitions, we gonna beat his little fat ass and and, and you know, you see him ripping Javante versus Ryan. <laughs> you know, all this different shit. Bro, I keep saying about Tank, but and that's why I say So when niggas come out here and, and, and want to defend this shit, guess what they say? They say, man, Tank definitely focus on Lomachenko, man. That's a total fight. You know what I'm saying? Like he focused about that man to me. He, he focused on Tank. That's all they talking about. Every fucking fight they have, they use Tank to build up their shit, but then turn around and say, Shakur Stevenson, it, it's a publicity stunt? Like, how? <laughs> look. I would have to uh, step aside as a coach and uh, and take a look from a manager perspective, but there's nothing on the table, so it's all hypothetical. So I, I don't I don't tend to let my mind wander in you know, places. It's all hypothetical. I don't tell you. You know, nigga, y'all are supposed to go after me. The fuck is you talking about? Y'all nigga love letting be a last trick, y'all goofy ass, man. I told you, man. My cousin, like 10 minutes with her. 
That nigga is a Bill Haney clone. Nigga, I know his type, nigga. <laughs> He's a finesser. I already know, dog. <laughs> Come on, dog. I can go pull up on a nigga right now in the middle. Of, I can pause the video, pull up on turn and hit play on the video. And I'll let y'all listen to this nigga trying to finesse me and fast talk. Just like this nigga. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is, I know his kind. You got to uh, step aside as a coach and shit, go to a manager, which is this and you know, all this fuck shit. But niggas don't never say nothing about tank. But all this shit, you tell you, oh, it's all hypothetical. Nigga, how is that happen? You should be pursuing him. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's crazy to me. And I also heard Shakur Stevenson do it on the Breakfast Club today or whatever, right? And he, he sort of may asked him, which one would he rather pick, Tank or or, or, or Devin Haney? He was like, shit. He basically alluded to that Tank the bag. So my thing is with these niggas is if, if Tank is both of y'all niggas goals, both of y'all niggas want to fight Tank, rather choose Tank over each other, right? Which, right? Then what's the second option, you know? So to Shakur, what if Devin get to fight next? Then what? You, that's my fucking point. And with Devin, well, if Shakur get that bitch and you can't make 135 no more because he going to put the same shit on your ass that he just put on ride and your ass going to be running around here, Bill Hanley going to be around his motherfucking crying and talking about the shit. You see how he said how uh, Tank made up the rules? What the fuck you think he going to do with y'all fight him? Same shit, nigga. Y'all big as fuck just like Ryan. Y'all ass gonna be on the 10-pound. Y'all <laughs> change it all. Y'all ain't gonna be able to go over 147. And Devin bigger than Ryan. So what, what are we talking about? So that's my point. Cap, cap, cap. You see what I'm saying? We're not gonna get paid up. Look when at you me, look at the see. status of yeah, now uh, everybody turning the goddamn business. So it's all hypothetical. So I, I don't I don't tend to let my mind wander in places that we're not gonna get paid at. Look at our business, man. You see what I'm talking about, man? It, 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 it's selective energy, man. You can't even defend this shit. You can't defend this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, so let's go to, let me type in real quick. Hold up. Recordings Oops. just got. Hold on. Let me, let me show y'all some. Let's see what else Bill Haney been talking about. Oh, yeah, this the other thing right here. It's a publicity stunt. Why it gotta be a fucking publicity stunt? What, what, what type of publicity y'all niggas been doing? Well, all this shit with Tank, but now when Shakur come out to y'all, like y'all say y'all coming out to Tank now, now it's a publicity stunt. And when he said he want to smoke, fuck is you talking about? You niggas, man. <laughs> he killing me. This is my theory on the situation. I believe Devin Haney, Bill Haney, don't want to fight Shakur because they know he's smarter than them and he going to beat them niggas on the course. So... They don't want to be on their way out of the, of a division, right? Devin Haney, I mean, yeah, Devin Haney not at his best fighting Shakur because it's not really going to be a physical battle. It's going to be a mental battle, right, which drains a lot of energy. So Devin Haney don't want to fight Shakur Stevenson at 135 because he won't be 100%. You know, Shakur coming to 135, he got room, so he got a lot of energy. You know, it, this shit ain't going to be no knockout on either side any fucking way. So you need to have a lot of energy for this fight. You need to be at your best. So Deb Haney feel like he don't want to fight Shakur at 135. He better fight him at 140, so they don't want to really entertain this shit, right? But they want to try to get that little check from so – they want to get that big check, I mean, from, from Javante Davis. You know what I'm saying? Shakur want that big check too, but Shakur, no tank gonna be at 135. 
You know what I'm saying? He gonna be here at 135 longer than there and then Dev, so that's my thing about the situation. Like <laughs> we we that's why he said that shit at first. We can meet at 140, 147, maybe even 154. Nah, nigga. Both of y'all niggas at 135 right now, your ass is not go up. Nigga, what's up? We niggas be picking and choosing, capping a whole lot. And that's all I got. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe already, and I'm out. Deuces.